Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your weekly reading. This message will be for July 15th through the 21st, and we'll have a weekly intention. If you find the message resonance, please feel free to like the video or comment below. Also, if you'd like future messages, you can feel free to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's always welcome here. I offer monthly and weekly readings on the channel consistently. I try other things as well. Sometimes I do dailies. I recently started week a weekend read. If that's something that you guys want to see more of, just comment on the channel. Let me know what you like. I really just try to fill the space with whatever message I feel needs to be heard at that time, whatever is calling to me, okay? I also want to touch on that these messages are general and they may not resonate for everyone. Um, if you would like to tap into your energy, you can choose your favorite tarot reader and get a personal reading. Otherwise, make sure you're checking your moon sign, ascending sign, rising sign. Also, the roles can be reversed, so take, really take the message how it resonates, but if it doesn't fit, it just wasn't meant for you, there is a message that will be for you in the future, so don't panic. Everything will be okay. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck, and the cards that came out are moving on. And discontent and boredom. So these kind these cards both kind of go hand in hand. Um, discontentment and bored signifies that you're feeling stagnant in an area in your life, most likely a relationship, and you're getting ready to move forward, okay? Discontentment and boredom does hold a message, Gemini, not to pay too much attention to what's closing and focus more on the future, what's ahead of you, okay? Now with moving on, I do feel like this, you're definitely embarking on a journey moving forward from the past. But this isn't just moving on. It's you've learned the lessons you need to learn. It's a period in which you are growing. You are moving into calmer waters, such as the Six of Swords energy. This card symbolizes that the healing process is underway. There's already been several stages you've gone through at the beginning of this year, Gem most Geminis, that has in some way, shape, or form presented lessons that has helped them grow pretty rapidly, okay? Now is a time for you to, to sit down and plan it out. Set the goals that you want to embark on for the future so you know exactly what direction you're headed, okay? Also pay attention to synchronicity there could be events that bring light or introduce people into your life for the highest good or the highest potential. So pay attention this week, Gemini, because there could be somebody that's going to have a significant role in your life. And they could just be coming into your, into your circle like magic never met this person before and all of a sudden here they are. So, moving on. Let's see what the tarot has to say about this moving on Gemini for the week of July 15th through the 21st. We're halfway through the retrograde even though there is a shadow period. Still a positive thought to think that we're halfway through this communication barrier, this stagnation. What's the most important message for Gemini 
for July 15th through the 21st. What do they need to know about moving on? Discontentment. Being bored. Six of Pentacles in reverse. And Four of Pentacles. Justice, Nine of Cups, Death Card, and the Empress. So, what I'm gathering here, Gemini, is you've come to a period of stagnation. I feel like this stagnation is affecting your finances. Either this person was helping you out with finan your financial situation, or you maybe worked under this person. There was somehow your finances relied on this relationship, okay? But this money is slowing up. This relationship is coming to an end. Maybe even this career, this phase of life. And I feel like with the Four of Pentacles here, you may have some money saved up, but you're kind of holding tightly on to the money that you have. The Four of Pentacles also signifies with careful planning and budgeting your money properly, you'll be able to make it through this time because I do sense that there's a transformation on the horizon, okay? Now we have the Nine of Cups. This does sometimes symbolize a relationship, but I feel like in this case, it's symbolizing that you have this goal, this dream that you are embarking on. And pretty soon, you are going to see a balance within this situation. There's still a few lessons that you are learning along the way within finance and business. But I do feel like, Gemini, there are some things that you're going to have to let go of in order to come into this new phase, okay? I feel like there's this sense of moving on but slowly and the longer it takes you to get through this process the longer it takes your blessings to come in and I feel like you may notice that already you may see this already within a situation or project that every time you move further and further away from these past hurts and past situations that you come into more blessings seemingly out of nowhere. Understand that's the universe showing you, like, look, if, if you let go of this, little by little, this is what you're going to receive. Okay? I do feel like it is time to take action, though. It's time to start... Focusing on moving forward, focusing more on the healing process, letting go of inner belief systems that have been holding you back, okay? Letting go of situations, people, places, or things that no longer serve you and moving into a more positive light, okay? Once you go th through this transformation, this the death card really symbolizes death of ego. In most tarot decks, in a nutshell, it's symbolizing learning lessons that are coming to endings, going through a change that's kind of 
breaking you down to understand that you are thinking from an ego perspective. Okay? Be practical with yourself. Be patient with yourself. You're going through a transformation. You're going to have good days. You're going to have not so good days. It's okay. It's okay, Gemini. Work with the energy. When you feel positive, when you feel like you have a lot of energy, get get stuff done. Okay, make a list for yourself just for the days that you have a lot of energy. And then when you don't have energy, give yourself that time to rest. I do feel like there is an amazing career opportunity on the horizon. Amazing opportunities for a tremendous change within your life. It's going to happen one way or another, but one way that you can help the healing process along is <clears throat> take account of the situations in the past <clears throat> where you have been hurt or, or may have hurt other people. And try to make amends with these people. Okay? Try to have some closure, some type of closure. Even if it's just within yourself. Like, for instance, writing a letter to the person. Talking about all of the situations that they've hurt you. And then burning it. You know, just a simple release of that pent-up anger is going to, it's not going to completely 100% satisfy the hurt, but it's going to bring you one step closer. Okay? So, for the Archangel Guidance cards, we have sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. I just touched on that. If you have energy, use it. Use it to your full advantage, okay? Pay attention to your body and how it's feeling. On the days that you don't have so much energy, only get the stuff that you need, absolutely need to get done. Put yourself on autopilot and rest. It's okay to rest. It's, it's important to take mental health days, okay? Then we have spiritual understanding. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. You're becoming more connected within the universe spiritually. It's part of the lessons that you're embarking on. It's going to bring, help bring in these new opportunities as well. Okay? Healthy lifestyle, eat a beautiful diet, get adequate sleep, and exercise regularly for optimal health. There may have, may be eating too much fast food, maybe not paying attention to your health. This card is a reminder to try and eat healthy. If you're not eating healthy, at least take your vitamins or a protein drink or something, a vitamin drink. Being deficient on vitamins, Gemini, is going to cause more problems, bone density problems, more health problems than what you really need in your life. So make sure you're at least taking a daily vitamin if you're not eating healthy. Okay? It's my suggestion of the day. So that is the message that I'm getting, Gemini. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Thank you for liking and subscribing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.